Hello everyone! Today's episode is different because I am starting to use a face cam for the first time. So this is the first time that you guys are seeing my face. Uh, and I had many of you ask me why I don't do a face cam and it just never really... I don't know, I've had this camera for a while and I just thought that it would be difficult to edit the videos, which, I mean, it makes it a little bit more complicated, but if this is what you guys prefer, then I do not mind doing this at all. I don't think I'll be able to do a face cam for all of my videos, um, just because it is a lot of work but I will definitely try to do it for most of it if this is what you guys enjoy. I know that especially for if I ever do like a reaction video or something like that I would definitely do a face cam for that. I'll try to do it for this series. Um, I guess I'll just see kind of how it works and how it ends up going because I would love to continue doing this. So we'll just see how it goes from here. Um, before we begin today's episode I just want to let you guys know that I will be changing my YouTube channel name soon. Semtastical Simmer is just a little long. I can't even fit all of my name on my origin account so I definitely need to change it soon. I also don't want to just limit myself to Sims videos if I ever want to post a different kind of video game video in the future. I, I will probably do something maybe incorporating my name. Um, I'm still brainstorming a few ideas. Of course if you guys have any suggestions you can let me know but I, I do have a few ideas in mind so anyway I'll probably be changing that at some point so I just want to give you guys a heads up so you're not surprised and wondering why I changed my YouTube channel name. Also, I have a little friend here who is recording with me. So this is Bubbles. This is my dog. He's adorable. Um, he is a Pomeranian toy poodle mix. Um, he just likes to cuddle and hang out with me. I know his name is very girly, um, but trust me, it fits him. Right now he's really tired. We went on a long walk. Um, so he is much more hyper and he's super sassy. You guys should see him sass. It's hilarious. Um, but hopefully if I find another video, I can show that to you guys but yeah he's gonna hang out with me so if you see him moving around this little like black fur thing that's what he is okay so let's begin today's episode it's like a checkup day there's just a lot of babies that have been born um, and actually a few of them need to age up and then we also have lady or not lady we also have princess Lindsay of Oasis Springs who should be having her baby fairly soon she's I think close to being in the third trimester um, but we actually have Prince Johan, who is supposed to be the same age as Princess May of Windenburg. Oh, just a bunch of flowers in her face. Okay, now Prince Johan is crying. So anyway, Prince Johan is supposed to be the same age as Princess May because they were born at the same time, or fairly the same time. I think it was like within a few hours of each other. So now, why don't we just try to change the dirty diaper? This is not Prince Johan crying, this is Prince James crying. Um, so we just need to take care of him. And then we can have Queen Nina age up Prince Johan, because he is supposed to be a toddler by now. Uh, so we will age him up. We also need to hire a butler service for them, I think, because um, we do have a bedroom downstairs that's actually really nice. It would be very nice for a butler. Oh gosh crying way too much. We actually do have a really nice bed downstairs for the butler, so he will will definitely hire one soon because it would be helpful to have one just to kind of clean up and, and help take care of the kids and stuff too, so we'll definitely go ahead and do that. Oh, man, guys, I love this castle. It's beautiful. Seriously, it's amazing. I just, oh, I want this castle for the Windenburg House. The Windenburg Palace, though, is much bigger than this. It's just not not as pretty, I feel like. Okay, so Queen Nina is going to go age up Prince Johan. I don't think we're going to have another kid with them. I kind of think two is enough. Okay, Prince Johan aged up. So Prince Johan, got to pick a trait. Um, I don't know. I hate that they make you pick a trait. I kind of like it when it's random, but like then you could change it later if you want to. Just because like you have complete control over what this child is going to be like. So why don't we do, I don't know, he's the heir to the throne, so why don't we do independent? Because um, we would like him to be independent. Um, and there's really no surprise with how the kids are going to look. I mean, both Queen Nina and uh, King Jared have brown hair. It's just that King Jared's hair is much darker. So he does look like, um, Percy Johan does look like he got Nina's hair, which is fine. But they, I don't think we're gonna try for another kid with them. We already have three children in the Willow Creek Castle and the Windenburg Castle, 
I don't know, probably at least two for the Oasis Springs Palace. Um, plus this palace isn't that big either, so yeah. I am going to have to change uh, Prince Johan's outfit. I will probably do that some other time, but um, I don't know. It'll just be kind of, we just want it to be more princely, I guess. Now I am going to hire a butler service for us. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay, so we want to hire a service. Um, and I just saw on here, I didn't know you could negotiate a bonus. That's kind of cool. Oh, oh, oh no, what happened? Oh, whoops. Okay, I have to try this again. So yeah, see, negotiate a, bo a bonus politician. That's kind of cool, maybe we'll try that. Um, so hire a service. Okay, so we want a butler. Okay, so this is going to be our butler. I do not know how to pronounce that. Daichi is something, something, I don't know. Um, okay, so we now have a butler for them. And we have our Prince Johan Brindleton. Um, so he looks super cute, guys. I am excited for King Jared and Queen Nina um, now that they finally have kids because, let's be honest, they have been through a lot, uh, especially just because Queen Nina didn't come from a great family at all. So it's nice to, that they are like having kids now. I'm excited to see what they're going to look like when they grow up. Um, and King Jared has two boys, which is what his family has. Had. They had um, him and Prince Adrian, which is now going to be King Adrian. So we are going to go ahead and check on some of the other families. Um, we're going to check on Princess Cora. It might not be exactly the right time for her triplets to age up, but I thought I remembered seeing um, that they were supposed to do, have a birthday soon. So I think we'll just go ahead and age them up. So we'll just go to the worlds. Okay, so why don't we go ahead to Willow Creek? Um, and I don't know how much older uh, King Derek and Queen Elena are. I think they might still have quite a few years, some years left in them. So they probably it will probably still be a while before Princess Cora and Prince Edmund become the rulers of the kingdom. Um, but I mean, it will still be fairly soon. It's going to be exciting when that happens. I didn't see too many comments on the coronation ceremony, by the way. So let me like definitely let me know what you guys think about that. Um, but why don't we go ahead and check on them and the triplets. So I just saw a comment on our YouTube channel um, from Blake Parsons um, about the new layout of Brindleton Bay with all the families that, that uh, you want to see it. Um, so I can definitely do that. I'll show you guys the new layout of Brindleton Bay for sure. Uh, I think that'll have to be the next video just because we do have a bunch of stuff planned for this one. Um, and then that way I can uh, fix up some of the Brindleton Bay um, families and stuff because there's really not that many families in there right now. So definitely we'll do that the next video for sure. Okay, so wow, these we got we got some bills to play to play. We got some bills to pay. So why don't we pay bills? Um, and what in the world are you wearing, Queen Elena? What is this? What is this? All right, outfits, change outfit. Please change into anything else. Same with you, Prince Edmund. What is this? I did not assign this for your outfits. I would not do that. Okay, so change outfit, and then you please also change into anything else. Okay, so we still have our babies. Um, they are little... Oh, they are crying a lot, so we definitely need to get to them. Um, the grandparents, uh, Queen Elena and King Derek, the grandparents, they are, have been like a pretty big help, so that's nice that they're still alive. Let's actually check how old they are and how much longer they think they have left to live. They still have a pretty good amount of time left. Um, so I'm not too worried about that. They, it'll probably be, I mean, honestly, Prince Edmund and Princess Cora, they might be close to turning into adults by the time they are king and queen, which is fine. Uh, so their palace to me always seems more like a house than anything else. I do like it though. It's just, it's nice that all of the castles are just completely different. It's really cool. I like the feel of all of them. Oh, I never realized I had portraits done of them. <gasps> Oh, I'm going to have to get portraits done of Princess uh, Cora and... Uh, I'm going to have to get portraits done of Princess Cora and Prince Edmund soon. 
So we'll definitely do that. Oh, Princess Cora gets her own portrait. I'm really excited. I still love her. She's my favorite. I might just do a portrait of her and like also put that in the Windenburg Palace because I love her so much. Um, okay, so we are going to age up the kiddos and oh gosh, three toddlers, three toddlers in their terrible, terrible twos. Um, so why don't we go ahead and do that? And then we'll do this oldest to youngest. I mean, they're only oldest by like a few minutes, but oh my gosh, too much crying, stop. Okay, Prince Louis was the first born, so we're going to age him up first. And then we'll just kind of go down the line. Oh, Princess May has sent Louis a gift, that's so sweet. Oh, Prince Louis looks like his father with his brown hair. That's really sweet. Okay, so what kind of person should Prince Louis be? Or what kind of child? Um, why don't we go with, um, I'm going to say inquisitive. He'll be curious, um, which means that he's going to want to learn more when he's older, which is kind of cool just to have that trait. I was getting a lot of presents. My goodness gracious. Okay, so now it is time for Prince Jack to age up. So, yeah, well, yeah, okay. It looks like Princess Cora was playing with Prince Louis a little bit. Um, so now it's time for Prince Jack. And then after that, we will go to Princess Belle. So we can age her up. All right. Oh my gosh, there's just so much crying. All right, Prince Jack aged up. I think that Prince Jack is going to be... Let's make him clingy. He'll be the clingy one. Uh, so... Oh, he also... Oh, I mean, they're triplets, so they're bound to look the same. Oh, so they're all going to be brunettes. None of them are going to look like Princess Cora, guys. <gasps> Maybe they'll look like her mom, though, because she kind of looks like a blonde version of her mother. So, And her mom had brown hair, too. So, yeah. All right. Uh, okay, it looks like Prince Edmund might have got this already, so we'll let him um, do his thing with Princess Belle. I think he's just trying to make her feel better. You're supposed to change your diaper. What are you doing? All right, age up. Okay, so we have... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Oh, haha. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought that when I saw Tiara's picture right there, if you can see it, I thought that we had aged up Princess Belle twice and that she had turned into a, a kid. So I was like, oh, crap. Um, so we she didn't, which is a good thing. Um, so I think Princess Belle is going to be, I think she's going to be a charmer. So we'll do that. Um, and she's actually blonde, so she does look like her mother. That, that's really exciting to me, guys. I'm really happy. Um, so she is the blonde one, which is completely different from her brothers. Um, I'm not happy with her hair, so we're definitely going to have to change that. Oh, guys, she is so cute. Oh, my gosh. Are they always that cute? Am I just... It, is this just me? Am I seeing things? Why do I think that, like... She's, wait, yeah, no, no, she's much cuter than her brother. Uh, she is adorable. Look at that face. Look at the cute little face. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I need to change their outfits so we can see what they look like when they're changed. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, so I have now changed all of the triplets' outfits. So this is Princess Belle. Oh, my gosh, she's adorable. I was kind of thinking that she would have brown hair, um, and I was hoping it, too, just because, like, Princess Belle is supposed to be, like, Princess Belle, like, Disney Princess Belle. Um, but it's okay that she has blonde hair. She's also named after her mother, so technically her full name is Isabel. Um, and I didn't want to call her Izzy. I prefer Belle. So, yeah. So this is our little Princess Isabel. She is too cute, guys. I love her. Um, I realize that I put both of the boys, I think, in the same... 
outfit. I can't see them. No, I didn't. Okay, yeah. I mean, they're in similar outfits, um, but it's not the same outfit. So, yeah, they, we all have, like, different versions of blue because it's Willow Creek. It's blue. Um, but they're so cute. I did change their hair. I just, I like this haircut better. Guys, seriously, though, the toddler hairstyles and clothing is so limited. It's kind of upsetting. I'm really excited, though, because my birthday is on March 17th. Um, so, I am going to get a new computer. I am so excited, guys. It would be, it's going to be my first gaming computer um, because right now I just have a Mac. So it's going to be hard to kind of get used to the Windows computer, but I'm so excited. I am hoping it will just like, my videos will be much smoother for you guys. I'll be able to do mods. I'll be able to do custom content. Um, it's just going to be like a whole new experience, and I am just beyond excited. I'll be able to do M, uh, what is it, MC Command, Master Control Center, is that what it's called? Um, I'll get to do that. I'll get to do all of this stuff, so I'm, I'm so looking forward to that. Um, but anyway, so yeah, so we have, um, I mean, we've, I think we've spent enough time with our triplets. It looks like Princess Cora is, I don't know if you guys saw that, but she was getting a headache. So, I mean, I don't blame her because because of the three toddlers. I'm going to need to add their bed soon instead of just the bassinets. We kind of have like a small bedroom here, but that's only really made for two kids. Um, so I'll definitely have to change that soon, but we'll do that another time. So right now I'm going to check on Lady, oh gosh, I always say Lady Lindsay. I'm gonna need to check on Princess Lindsay because she is supposed to be having her baby soon. She's in the third trimester, so I really don't, like they're not gonna be able to tell me how soon she's having her baby oh wait am I traveling my bad okay I need to go to manage worlds um but yeah so it won't be able to tell me like when she's having her baby but I was kind of hoping to have it by the end of this video although this video is getting a little long so I'll probably have to end this pretty soon um so I'm just going to have her have her baby first um and then we'll probably end it from there okay so here we are at the Oasis Springs Palace what is Queen Arya wearing? Oh my gosh, guys! No! What is this? What is this? This is ridiculous. Why do they do that? That's not her hot weather outfit. That's not her cold weather outfit. I swear with these ridiculous outfits, they just put like glasses and a weird hat on them. Like this is not okay. Oh my gosh, just change your outfit, please. Oh, I'm not on Prince Adrian. That would help. Okay. So, Prince Adrian, please, dear lord, change your outfit. So, there we go. All right, so he's going to change. Princess Lindsay. I, oh, yeah, I don't know if I told you guys this. I had to change her name to Princess Lynn until she becomes queen because Lindsay was just way too long. Um, so, yeah. So, she should be giving birth fairly soon. It doesn't say when. Um, but I don't really have a nursery yet for this castle, so, um, I, I should probably do that. Um, but I just want her to have her baby real quick, so we're not going to go to, like, a, a the hospital or anything like that. Um, actually, maybe should we? We will. We'll go to the hospital. I know I need to end this video quickly, but I'm just going to cut to when she's giving birth. Okay, so Lady Lindsay is finally going into labor, um, so that means we can go ahead and go to the hospital with her and Prince Adrian. Prince Adrian, oh my gosh, I almost said Prince Jared. There are so many Sims, guys, uh, so please forgive me for messing up people's names all the time. Um, so we are going to go ahead, should we bring, oh gosh, I forgot she had a small romantic relationship with, oh, can only one person go to the hospital with her? Yeah, only one person can. I was going to bring, like, her mother-in-law and father-in-law, too, because this is not their first grandchild, but, like, they're not on speaking terms with King Jared right now, so, I mean, technically it's their first grandchild. It's the first grandchild that they get to love and cherish, um, so that's exciting for them. So I wanted them to be there when the birth was happening, but it's okay. They'll see him when he him. Ooh, I don't even know if it's a boy or a girl. They'll see it uh, when they get back to the palace. Okay, so we're at the hospital. Princess Lindsay is in a ton of pain. So it looks like she's just going ahead to the doctor's um, 
office or getting the baby delivered the delivery room that's it um so she's going to go ahead and do that okay so we are having the baby now um le learn that it's a medical intern no wait what no he's not they lied okay well we're having our baby there's a bunch of liquids and a laser oh my gosh she's taking out her heart <laughs> all right Okay, is this because he said, or they said that he was a medical intern? Is that why they're doing all this? Okay, all right. We have a baby girl. Um, so I have a few name suggestions left um, from some of our viewers. So we have one viewer named Black Beauty Sister 3, um, and they asked me to name the baby girl, or one of the baby girls, uh, Naya, which is spelled N-A-Y-A. Um, which is actually her name. So thank you, Naya. Um, so we are going to name her Princess Naya. And this is perfect because it's like the perfect amount of letters for her name. Um, so yeah, guys. All right. So they had a baby girl. They're probably going to try again for another child. Um, so we will just have to focus on that in another episode. I'm going to end this episode here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode with the face cam. Uh, this is definitely something that I've obviously never done before so uh it's a little different but i had a lot of fun with this um now i guess we'll just see how editing this video goes um so i'll have to tell you guys that the next episode um i'm gonna continue this for sure um with the face cam i'm um, just probably not every single episode um but again we will see but the next episode will focus more on the kingdom of brindleton bay um so we'll get to focus on some of the other noble families um from there and also just kind of the layout of everything as well so i hope you guys enjoyed this and as always don't forget to subscribe like comment share for sure if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys the next episode